Same reflections. Similar triangles. All right. So we, we talked about this. This, I believe, is review. You've heard of similar triangles before. Similar means. And there are other shapes that can be similar, other than triangles. So similar shapes have corresponding sides. are proportionate. Corresponding angles are And the way that I think about this sort of visually is similar shapes are just enlarged or shrunken versions of themselves. With triangles, this is very closely related to the things that we learned about congruent triangles. So what were the four shortcuts we learned for congruent triangles? SAS. 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 Okay. No, SAS. S S S A A S A S A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A angle A angle side, A angle side angle, we know two angles, right? With these ones, we don't know two angles. So with similar triangles, what's actually going to happen is these, to show that two triangles are similar, all we have to show is that they have two angles that are equal. Now why else does that make sense? Other than kind of going from here to here, why would it make sense that if two angles in a triangle are equal, then those two triangles must be similar? London. Yeah. The other angle has to be the same because if I know two angles in a triangle, right, so let's say this one was 50 and this one was 30, the other angle has to be 100 in this case because they have to all add up to 180. So as soon as I know two angles, I actually know the third angle. I can easily find it just by subtracting from 180. So there's kind of two ways to think about this. Two triangles are similar if they have two angles that are the same. And you can think of it either as sort of a version of AAS or ASA, or you can think of it as, well, if we know two angles, we know the third because of the triangle sum theorem. Two triangles are similar <laughs> And then since they're similar, we know they really share three angles, but we only need to know two to prove that they're similar. And then side angle side and side 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 can also be used to show triangles are similar. And on the sides, what we're looking for though are not the same sides, but sides that are in the same proportion. So if I have a triangle, and let's say this one's two and three, and then I have another triangle that's four and six, I can say these triangles are similar by side angle side because I have 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4 and 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6. So essentially what I do is I take these corresponding sides 2 over 4 and 3 over 6 and I set them equal to each other. And if that's true those triangles are similar. And with side
side, 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 it's the same thing. I, I think side, side, side similarity is a little bit obvious because this is sort of our definition of a similar triangle. Let's say we had one, two, three, and Let's actually not say we had one, two, three. Let's say we had one, two, two. And then let's say we had two, four, and four. We could prove that these are similar by side, side, side similarity. Because one times two equals two, two times two equals four, and two times two equals four. So essentially we have these same four theorems, except these two become one, angle, angle. And these two, instead of proving that the sides are the same, we're proving that they're in proportion. Does that make sense? And instead of just saying side, angle, side, typically what you'll write on your page for these is SAS similarity. Side angle side, or SAS, is the shortcut we used, or the abbreviation we used to show that they're congruent. So when we're showing that they're similar, we say SAS similarity. The difference is that the sides are not necessarily equal, they're just in proportion. 